Hey, wanna tell you guys a cool did you know? Did you know I take these hydrangeas and I put them in glycerin? My Papa Twiggy usually brings me um, hydrangeas, usually around August or September, and we take the glycerin, he cuts them down for me, takes all the leaves off at the bottom, and we put these in mason jars. So I went to Walmart, got a bunch of mason jars. We use them every year. Um, we take it and do two to one. So we do two things of glycerin to one thing of water, usually hot water or boiling water. We take the hydrangeas once he's cleaned them out. We put them, we pour everything together in the mason jar. We put the hydrangeas in the mason jar like this. We leave them for a couple weeks. And I usually go heavier with the glycerin because uh, the first year we ended up doing this, I was supposed to keep the hydrangeas kind of on a pinkish note, but I left them in too much glycerin and I accidentally burnt them, I think. So I like the look of this because it's super like twiggy rustic style. So um, now what we do is I put extra glycerin in it so it dries it and it kind of makes it like a brownish tan. Um, a lot of the leaves, anything that you see kind of falling now is just the leaves left over at the bottom. But everything has like this coat of the glycerin on it. So I use these throughout the wedding venue for decorations on the ceilings, on the tables, in the bathrooms, the bridal suites, stuff like that. I really like it. Um, it just has this neutral, natural tone to it. I actually use it on my backdrops um, behind the couple's table. I have this uh, circle reel that I'll show you guys that I um, decorated with the dried hydrangeas and stuff like that. So I thought you guys would like to know how we came about these whole hydrangea dried flower look. And it's all because a Papa Twig brings me some flowers. I accidentally burnt them in glycerin and this is how they came out. And I love them and I'm gonna keep making more and more. And every year my dad brings me the flowers and he goes, are you gonna burn these? And I say, yes. So that's my story.